my list, the last one is Expeditions. This is one that I give an eight. It almost made an 8.5. I do have a, a couple little issues with it. I, I feel like there's so many keywords and I think those keywords are supposed to tie into scythe, but I'm not a scythe player. And so I don't really understand why hearts are quests and the way you resolve quests is by complete, there are certain words for that. Like it's just, there's a lot of keywords. And so the way you have a card, like the type of card you have and the way you complete that card for an objective purpose, um, they, they, the words don't always connect. They don't always go together for me. So that's confusing. And I think that that could have been cleaned up. The other thing is I played it at five and it was terrible. We didn't even finish the game after like two and a half hours because, oh my goodness, I would never play it at five. Um, everything, everything just gets tighter because the board doesn't expand. It doesn't change between a two player game and a five player game. And so you just run out of stuff and I could be working on the same thing that someone else is working on. And then suddenly like they've completed that objective. Cool. I'm so close to completing it and there's nothing left on the board. I can't do it. So I, I don't like that. I'd rather play it at two to three. So at a two to three player count, I think this is solidly an eight. Um, I like that there are a lot of different objectives that you're trying to complete and you're trying to work up to. Um, and so you're just trying to get a certain amount of those stars, but then also you're trying to build an engine. So you're like, Hey, let me tuck these cards which will help me complete an objective, but also they'll help upgrade my card, my stars that I get so that they're worth more points at the end of the game per star. Or maybe I'll tuck cards under here because they'll give me instant points now and they build on each other. And so um, it's just really cool to see the way that those engines work. Um, I think the cards are interesting that you've got You've got cards that you play that let you do abilities, but then you have cards that you play that give you a bonus, but then you get something extra if you're able to put a worker on them. So there's a lot of really cool stuff going on. I love the exploration. I love just doing lots of different things. So Expeditions is almost an 8.5, but it is only an eight just because, yeah, fiddly keywords, that kind of stuff. Just lack of clarity in the rule book.